Yeah. Okay. Right up. All this money, money, money coming to me. No handouts, I really had to do it for me. Watch me work. Watch me work. Watch me work. Get out the dirt. All this money, money, money coming to me. No handouts, I really had to do it for me. Watch me work. Watch me work. What's going on, YouTube? Landon Huffman here, back with another race day vlog. It is sunny and about 85 here at Tri County Motor Speedway. Tonight's 30,000 win Cars Tour Grand Atlantic Resorts 275. Getting ready to rock and roll here. I'm gonna take you guys with us. I'll be driving the autos by Nelson number 22 per usual. So we had a really good practice day yesterday. We've got two practices on tap today, qualifying and a 200 lap feature. So I'm gonna take you guys with us all day, hoping for a good run, hoping for a shot at the big money. Thank you guys for being here. Let's have a good day. Qualified P6, so uh, second was a 27 and we ran a 32. So I feel like we're pretty good. Uh, we just gotta work on uh, trying not to get crashed here at the start. It's gonna be wild, feels really close and I think we got a good Always by Nelson 22 car. So long race, just gotta try to stay up front, keep track position and hopefully have something for them there at the end for 30K. See what happens. We continue to build up this anticipation. The fan test is starting to die down, which we know has been experienced. Bringing that to the forefront and allowing those improvements to take place. It's not going to happen overnight. And that is the mantra that everybody seems to have recently. We're delayed to come and have an opportunity here to get a photo off with a young fan. Our smiling. If they're having a great time, they're going to come out to watch it.
Caution came out on lap 37 and race control deemed this the first of four controlled cautions that we were going to have in this 200 lap race. On each of these controlled cautions we could either take fuel or tires but not both and we have two tires in the pits to take at any point in time during this race. So under this first caution we came down and took fuel. So we're getting ready to go back green here just after the control caution on lap 37. Remember this is a 200 lap race, so from this point forward through the next control caution, which is on lap 67-ish, lap 70, I'm going to just show you some of the battles from us coming from 17th back to 5th here before we have to make another strategy call on the next control caution. So no spotter audio through this portion, just a few quick clips of us battling and then we'll get farther forward into the race so we can get into the nitty gritty. Caution's back out here, lap 67. We drove all the way up to fifth. So we're gonna come back down pit road here and take fuel once again, because we realized we were not gonna have enough to go to the end of 200. Originally the plan was to take tires here instead of fuel, but because we realized we couldn't go the distance on fuel, we went ahead and took fuel again. And actually the 03 and a couple other cars took tires instead of fuel, which is gonna bite them late in the race. Get out of here. Get out of 
over here. We'll see what they're doing there. Here we are rolling down to take our right side tires. This will be the last time we're on pit road for the whole race, lap 113 of 200. So once we get our right side tires on here, it'll be full go to the end.
And remember, other people are on different strategies ahead of us.
This is the battle for second here with about 50 to go. So things are starting to heat up. Uh, we're battling up front. The 03 is on older tires than we are out front and he's on a different fuel strategy. Raps pace car will dive down to the pits in the KRC power steering restart zone. They work towards Brendan Queen, Landon Hudson with the launch, and the is back out here in Tri County. Millington able to make the top two work this time as he goes side by side for the second spot with Huffman. Behind them, Honeycutt almost got the wall in the 10, trying to get around Jared Fryer. Oh, Millington to second, half. Huffman back to third. the reason oh, here, so the the let us go here. and Millington not going to put up much of a fight he's going to let Huffman go on by here. Remember, I don't think he can make it on it's gas it's a smart move there for Arnaud Millington is off the pace something is wrong with that number 15 car right as he is very slow down the back straightaway Ryan Millington petering down here in turns three and four. Oh my goodness Unfortunately, my GoPro died because this was an over a three-hour race, but we're getting ready to go back green here, running second with around 30 to go. So uh, it gets really intense here, and I'm going to do my best to overlay flow, audio, and my radio still with it. As he pulls up alongside Brendan Butterbean Queen, 38 laps to go into the KRC Power Steering Start Zone, and McCarty may have had a false start as Queen went a little bit late. Down into one, Huffman able to clear for second as McCarty launched, but Queen did not. Good move there by McCarty to lift and give the spot back to Queen to avoid us from having to re-rack the field and try it again. Huffman to second, and here comes Honeycutt. He was backwards and sideways and broadside the traffic, and now he's got a podium spot and looking for more. The players have completely changed at the front of the field. Caden Honeycutt looks like one of the fastest cars on the racetrack. So does Bobby McCarty. And Huffman has not let Brendan Queen get away. He has just a nose down to the inside of Butterbean off of turn two. Whether he can make up some ground here these next couple of corners, we'll see. But as that car comes to life, he got a huge ovation in driver introductions being from nearby Claremont. Could the Claremont kid go to Car Store Victory Lane for the first time here at Tri-County? As you mentioned, Blake, the track champion at Hickory in 2022. Of course, his father, Robert Huffman, also a track champion at that venue before going up to multiple Dash Series wins and competing in some of the top series in motorsports. Well, again, one of these two is going to have to emerge out of this battle very soon at some point as Queen looks a little bit off the pace. Your race leader, much slower. Oh, he no. might be out of fuel. They split him three wide as Butterbean Queen looks as though he may have lost the power plant and that 0-3, your race leader. Slow on the back straightaway here out of turn two. Queen now limps his way down the back straightaway. Caden Honeycutt to the race lead. Len and Huff in the second, Quapple third. First time that Caden Honeycutt has led since back in June at Langley. He still holds off Landon Huffman, and what it. a battle for second is now a battle for the race lead. Queen slow on the bottom. Be done here in a 
Landon Huffman looking for Edelbrock Victory Lane for the first time in his Solid Rock Carriers Cars Tour career. Through the KRC Power Steering restart zone, Honeycutt with the jump, three wide for second behind him. Waffle trying to make the bottom work, can't get alongside Huffman. Huffman trying to stay alongside Honeycutt for the race lead. McCarty trying to fill the void on the outside. Here they come off of four. Honeycutt cements the lead. Huffman second, door to door for third. And Huffman was able to make that move up to the top side as he nearly looked down to the bottom of Caden Honeycutt, but was able to get up in front of Bobby McCarty. A crucial move for that number 22 car. Now McCarty through the middle, trying to get by Carson Quapple. That would be for third. Bassett Jr. and Fryer behind him for fifth. Waffle and McCarty almost come together. As and $30,000 between Caden Honeycutt and Landon Huffman. Huffman has been working the bottom side so well all night long. Honeycutt trying to hold a tighter line that time in one and two. Huffman all the way to the bottom in three and four. Trying to draw even with the ten as they come to the line. And he has been really strong through three and four especially. That number 22 car. Honeycutt moving down. Trying to fork a little bit up the racetrack. Honeycutt to the middle of three and four. Back to the gas, side by side, still with 14 to go. Oh, Huffman got really loose that time as they went into turn one. And they touch again off of turn two. Huffman, Honeycutt, 22 and 10, battling it out for the race lead with Carson Quapple lurking in third. I was about to say, looking at the speed charts, get to, guess who is catching your front two? And Carson Quapple looking for a fourth consecutive Old North State Nationals victory for Junior Motorsports. Still not done for the top spot just yet. Huffman, drive through the center. He may have it at the stripe. Give it to Honeycutt by Justin O's with 12 to go. Huffman knows starting to make more ground on the bottom line. He gets another drive off the corner. This may be what he needs. That's as close as he's been all night long on this end of the racetrack. Off of turn number four. Huffman trying to slide up, but it's Honeycutt at the line by inches with 10 to go. By 32 one thousandths of a second, give it to Caden Honeycutt. 10 laps to go here to settle it for $30,000 and the biggest paying race of the year in the Cars Tour. Huffman up the racetrack once again, side by side at the line. Nine to go, still Honeycutt with the race lead. A little bit of contact there in one and two. Honeycutt kicked off the bottom. Here comes Huffman to sail it off as we got a car off the pace on the front straightaway. Chase Burrow has come to a stop. Honeycutt, Huffman, your top two. Into the KRC power steering restart zone. Go, 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 Honeycutt go. with a little bit of a slide. Dead even at the start. Uh, inside, right about the track, right about the track. Come on, come on, stay in it, get it, get it. Outside, 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 the corner. The corner, outside, the only outside. Outside line rolling. He's in the middle of the line. He's in the middle. Huffman for the lead. Here they come to the start. Outside, he's in the middle. He's in the middle. Honeycutt's battling back. Crowd going crazy here at Tri-County. They go three wide once again for the top spot. Scatter, everybody misses Honeycutt. Huffman now the leader ahead of Carson Quapple. Ahead of Ryan Jackson, who is the podium. Come to the line here with six laps to go. Couple of car links is the lead. We talked about the history of this race team. They have won several championships with Bobby McCarty at the helm. The change was made in the offseason where McCarty departed. It was a different driver behind the wheel of this 22 car to start the season. Go, he made the pivot to Huffman, and he has been one of the best cars all night long, and he is less than a lot of the McCarty for delivering a huge payday to the race team. They'll come around this time. They'll see the white flag if he can get it. Oh, no, bring it back to the Speedway for Landon Huffman. It has been a struggle for this Nelson Motorsports team. They started the season with Kale Gale, but in the <laughs> for the final time. Oh, get him back here, bud. 30, Driver introductions for this driver who is very popular in this area, of course, 
has run into three motors. And I think he's got enough fuel to at least do a couple of uh, couple of Polish victory laps. After all of this weekend and everything, I realized I didn't film an outro. <laughs> so, uh, if you've made it this far in the video, I really, really appreciate you guys, man. Thirty thousand dollar Cars Tour winner, insane weekend. The fans were fantastic. Uh, you come out in droves. Tri County was packed. Felt like the whole freaking place was pulling for us. Uh, just a, a dream moment for a race car driver, especially a short track kid trying to fight in and uh, you know been up and down the ranks and you know been on this journey with you guys here on this channel, but. Uh, just a crazy, crazy weekend, and I'm very thankful for each and every one of you. Thank you guys so much for watching this video all the way through. If you have not subbed to this channel and you've made it this far, please drop a drop a like on this video and subscribe to the channel. We also smashed 25K uh, this weekend, so thank you guys so much for that. My grandpa's out here weed eating, so I'm not going not gonna to make this video go on any longer. But thank you guys so much. I'll see you in the next one.